Hey, Mark. Hey, Mr. J. So I know doing all this merch marketing, like these three awesome death battle t-shirts, can get kind of stressful. So we added some new office amenities that I think will help take the edge off. Like the new office jacuzzi. Gee, no thanks. You ever smelled a wet sloth before? All right, maybe a relaxing massage then. I got a fear of hands. All right, how about a nice hot sauna? It's a fucking toast oven, Chad. I'm Mark Kaufman, and now I got the sexiest shirt in the market, Death Battle Shirts. You wear this, you're going to find yourself in a sex battle. I don't know what that is, but I know you'll love it, okay? Now click the link below and buy this shirt, or they're going to eat me. Hello, everybody. My name is The Bird Gamer. Welcome to another video reaction. Reaction to the new Death Battle, Power Rangers versus Voltron. Now, um, I'm not a little bit, well, when I was a little kid, my brother, my first brother, I was first born, he watches the Power Rangers all the time when it was released, well, the original and others. He's a really big fan of the Power Rangers. Really, really likes the Power Rangers. And I do too. So, Voltron, I don't know. A little bit. Um, so. So, I'm more of a Power Rangers than a Voltron person. Well, I don't know much about Power Rangers. I mean, I mean Voltron. But it's Power Rangers. I'm more than that. So, anyways, let's watch this battle come to an end. Well, not right now. It's finally time for one yes. of the biggest matchups in death battle history. Oh, yes. yeah, the giant robot fight of all giant robot fights. The Megazord, the heavy hitting mech command. Commanded by five Power Rangers. And Voltron, the defender of the universe, piloted by five paladins. For this matchup, there will be no Dragon Zords, no Galaxy Garrisons, no Robot Brachiosaurus, and no mice. Just a good old 5v5 war of the giant robots. He's with an arm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Oh, that looks good. Since the dawn of time, Good has battled the forces of evil. The vicious witch Rita Repulsa and her giant monsters waged war yep. with the good-natured galactic sage Zordon. Their 2,000-year war finally ended when Rita zapped him into a time warp, but not before Zordon managed to lock her up in a space dumpster? Yes, apparently that thing is a space dumpster, or to put more accurately, a galactic recycling bin. Uh, however, Zordon knew it was only a matter of time before Rita escaped to conquer Earth once more. Good thing Zordon had thousands of years to come up with a foolproof plan. He could summon the five greatest warriors from around the galaxy to defend the planet. Or... Teleport to us five overbearing and overemotional humans. No! Not that! Not teenagers! That plan is asinine, but somehow it worked. Zordon granted five teenagers the ability to draw power from a dimension called the Morphin Grid. This molecular transmutation turns them into superhumans with access to mighty mechanical beasts called Zords, yep. becoming the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Mastodon! Pterodactyl! Uh. Triceratops! Saber-Tooth Tiger! Tyrannosaurus! Power Rangers! Power Rangers. Go, go, Power Rangers! <laughs> There's Jason Lee Scott, the Red Ranger. He's a fearless leader, expert martial artist, and owns one of the coolest zords of the bunch, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Billy Cranston, the Blue Ranger, is the genius of the group. He loves to work with machines, especially his impressive Triceratops Zord. With its grappling hook horns, this 140-ton behemoth can stop a foe in its tracks. Trini Kwan, the Yellow Ranger, is equal parts brains and martial arts specialist. She's a threat both outside and inside her speedy saber-toothed tiger zord. 
Kimberly Ann Hart, the Pink Ranger, is a smack-talking valley girl Pink. who has the skies covered in her Pink. pterodactyl zord, which can fly at two and a half times the speed of sound. Last but not least, there's Zack Taylor, the Black Ranger, who's mastered his own fighting style called Hip Hop Keto. <laughs> yep, this guy fights aliens with the power of dance, along with his Mastodon Zord. Although slow, this Zord can freeze blast enemies with ice, or saran wrap if you're short on budget. But when five giant mechanical beasts aren't enough to keep the villains down, these machines join together to... We're just the coolest friggin' thing you've ever seen in your life! Power it! Bring them together! Oh yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah. This is the Megazord, a 333-foot colossus with enough power to effortlessly tear Me down buildings sometimes unintentionally. All five rangers pilot the Megazord as one, combining their own martial arts skills to defeat giant monsters. It's like a giant rock'em suck'em robot with laser beams. It can fry enemies with its cranial laser, blast fireballs yes. from its hands, shoot immobilizing beams yes. from its eyes, and, and even beams. use the mastodon's face as a shield. And when it's time to send someone to an early grave, so, they summon right their blade now, ex machina, the like, power sword. Little known know, fact, simply touching the power sword I'm can recharge the Megazord if really it's low on power. It's not I just a battery. This giant sword is over 100 long feet long time. and orbits the Earth when not in use. Plus, it can launch energy waves and cut down almost any monster old. with just one swing. And there's even more. It's a surprisingly versatile weapon. Like with this feature they implemented against the Nasty Knights. Any energy we throw at him, he just reflects back at us. That's why our weapons are burned out. So what do we do about it? Reflect his energy back at him, along with a bit of our own. I don't get it. Apparently, the Power Sword can absorb oncoming kinetic energy and turn it against the attacker, drastically increasing the Megazord's striking power. Well, after pummeling monsters every weekday afternoon, the Power Rangers have been through almost everything. From fighting a world-destroying dragon to a giant walking pumpkin who raps? Ooh, you rangers make me mad! Wake me up with a rap that bad! They've even fought Kimberly's purse. Man, these villains were getting desperate. And so were the writers. Anyway, the Megazord is strong enough to lift and throw the 170-ton Dragon Zord into a mountain with little effort. So long, Gay Bowser! Even the individual Zords can support the weight of whole monsters on their own. While many of these monsters should weigh similar to the Megazord, some certainly weigh even more. In fact, in a general scale, when you double the size of an object, its weight increases by a factor of eight. Comparing these organic monsters to human beings means some of them could weigh as much as 10,000 tons. And the Megazord even gut-punched one of them over 100 feet into the air. Assuming that monster is 10,000 tons, lifting it 133 feet would require about 90 million newtons of force. 50 times as much force as a space shuttle's launching thrust. That kind of strength, I bet you could backhand a person into outer space. That's oddly specific. Strange, wasn't it? Regardless, they've used that strength to take down countless monsters capable of wiping out all life on Earth. They even went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Cyclopsis, a war zord designed to conquer entire worlds. But even for the Power Rangers, defending the Earth is no small job. When they least expect it, the Megazord's energy supply can be quickly exhausted in the middle of combat. And it doesn't help that half the reason is because they just get hit so damn much. Despite the Megazord's awesome power, it's really lacking in the whole maneuverability department. I mean, come on! It can at least try to avoid an attack. But when the enemy hits hard, the Power Rangers hit back even harder. With the fate of the world lying in their hands, no one can ever take them down. Bring him down! Go, go, Power Rangers! Now, from days of long go, ago, go. from uncharted regions of no, the universe, go, go. comes a legend. In less cryptic terms, 1200 years ago, the evil Drool Empire nearly conquered the entire known universe. 
But not everybody was cool with fleets of ships shooting up their planets, so a team of scientists and magic priests decided to fight back. Through the marriage of magic and technology, 